Today's topic is hives. Hives is an outbreak of swollen, red, bumpy rash that appears on the surface of the skin, either as a result of the body's reaction to allergens or for unknown reasons. The rash that is marked with hives can be extremely itchy and spread across large areas of someone's body. They may also burn and sting. They can appear anywhere on the body, including the ears, arms, hands, fingers, legs, feet, and toes. Hives vary in size and shape and may join together to form larger areas known as plaques. They typically last a few days and do not leave any long-lasting skin changes. About 20% of people are affected at some time in their life. Also known as urticaria, hives are not contagious. There are several types of hive. They include acute urticaria, are hives lasting less than six weeks and may occur as a result of an adverse or allergic reaction to certain foods or medications. Insect bites and infections may also be responsible for acute urticaria. Acute urticaria occurs equally in males and females and are more common among children. Chronic urticaria hives lasting more than six weeks. Unlike the acute urticaria, the cause is usually more difficult to identify. However, in some cases, it may be caused by an underlying medical condition such as cancer, infection, thyroid disease, or hepatitis. This is a more severe form of hives, and it can spread to different areas of the body, such as the lungs, gastrointestinal tract, and muscles. Chronic urticaria is more common in females, especially among those who are middle-aged. Physical urticarial hives caused by irritation of the skin, for example, extreme heat or cold, excessive sweating, overexposure to the sun. Dermatographic urticarial is a form of physical urticaria when hives form as a result of scratching or firm stroking of the skin. Causes Hives occur when the body reacts to an allergen and releases high levels of histamine and other chemical messengers into the skin. In response to this histamine, blood vessels in the affected area open up and start to leak. The resulting fluid in the tissue causes swelling and itchiness. Many different substances in the environment can trigger a hive's outbreak. Some common triggers include food such as nuts, wheat products, egg, strawberries, shellfish, and food additives. Physical stimuli such as pressure, cold, heat, sun exposure, or exercise. Medications such as codeine, ibuprofen, penicillin, ACE inhibitors used for high blood pressure. Dust mites, high body temperature, pollen, insect bites and stings, scratching, infections such as flu, common cold, hepatitis B, stress, other underlying conditions, latex, water on the skin, this type is rare, pet dander from dogs, cats, horses, cockroach and cockroach waste, some plants such as nettles, poison oak and poison ivy. Sweating, such as during exercise, staying in a heated environment. Symptoms. Raised itchy bumps that are usually red or pink. A rash that appears often in several places and goes away in a matter of minutes to hours, only to appear elsewhere. Diagnosis and treatment. The doctor will ask a series of questions in an attempt to find the possible cause of hives. The doctor will examine the bumps or rash if they are still present and take a careful medical history to identify the possible cause. An allergy skin test may be performed to determine the substance to which you are allergic. The doctor may also order a blood test. Treatment. The goal of treatment is to relieve symptoms while the condition resolves by itself. Antihistamine is usually prescribed to provide relief from symptoms. They are taken regularly for several weeks and may include cetirizine, or effexophenidine. They help by blocking the effects of histamines. Chronic urticaria can be treated with an antihistamine or a combination of medications. When antihistamines don't provide relief, an oral corticosteroid may be prescribed. Omalizumab or Zolair can also treat chronic urticaria. In some cases, using home remedies such as applying a cold, damp cloth to the affected area Wearing loose-fitting, lightweight clothes, or working and sleeping in a cool room can help. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.